Hi there everybody. I thought tonight it would be fun to share some um, aura portraits that I had done a couple of years back and one actual photo. So I'm going to share the first one. These are the portraits. They're called aura, aura portraits. They're done by the granddaughter of the owners of my local rock shop. And oh, the rocks I have, obviously that's my <clears throat> pendulum there. Ametrine with a citrine fob. And this is a really nice piece of halite I have. Which halite is sea salt or rock salt, in case anybody's curious about that. Okay, so here's the first one I had done. And she sees colors and she sees shapes. So this one, you can see my third eye area is kind of blown open there. And you can see the flower shape behind me and these sort of purple rays coming out from behind that. And she saw some sort of an orange orb. And then my body was outlined with green. And what's interesting about this, beyond the fact that it, you know, it's just interesting in the first place to me, is a couple days later I went to a kind of metaphysical psychic fair they had over in Dallas about, I don't know, within a week of me having this done. And there was a guy there who did aura photography. And I'm going to show you that. So pretty similar, right? With the green and the blues and the purples. The only thing is, in this photo, there's really no orange. But in any case, I thought that was pretty cool to have somebody draw something and then go get a, pho a photograph made and for it to be quite similar. I thought that was pretty cool. So, you can see a lot of the same colors and at the same um, fair I had a woman read my cards and she mentioned my heart chakra being kind of wide open and um, I believe the man that does these photographs said that the white represented a spirit energy that was there to kind of guide me or protect me or look out over for me, look out for me, something like that. <laughs> and so then about a year later I went back and the same girl, the granddaughter of the owners of the rock shop, did another one for me. And this is what it looked like. Now at first the black figure, I was like, what the heck is that? But see how it's surrounded in green, so it was like a loving energy. And she said she felt like it was somebody who was looking over me and she couldn't make out the face, so she just drew the outline kind of in what would be shadow. And it's interesting to me that I have more orange in this picture, more orange and yellow because around that same time I was, felt like I was being told I needed to work on that the energy of those colors I tend to not be drawn to red, orange, and yellow very often and so I know my color vibrations that surround me can tend more towards the purples and greens and blues anyway so I thought that was interesting the dots, she said, were kind of like pinpoints of light. And here, I'm more surrounded by this kind of violet color. And it looks almost like flames. I don't the little flashes of yellow and red. And there, she saw like a purple orb energy. So that was the last one I had done. And so I thought these were 
interesting and I thought maybe somebody else might be interested in seeing this sort of thing. And if anybody else has had something like this done, I'd be interested in hearing what your experiences um, have been. I don't want to make this video too long, but I thought it'd be fun to share something a little different. And um, I'd like to hear what other people's experiences have been with auras. Can you see auras? Have you had your aura read by anybody? I know myself, if I feel like I'm lacking in a certain area, um, I will think what chakra that relates to and usually um, pick some stones and candles and things that will help me to focus on that. And I do a few other things. I've, I did something recently with yellow and um, maybe later in the week or sometime soon I'll um, post some pictures of that and discuss what I did with that that helped me. Um, as it relates to kind of like energy healing for yourself. So anyway, yeah, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to go ahead and shut it down so it's not too long. And I hope everybody is having a good start to their week. And I thank you for watching. And have a good night.